Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am starting with the lecture number four in the road traffic accidents. Significance of bumper fracture. This is very important injury. The fracture of tibia and fibula of one or both the legs occur. And this is due to impact of bum bumper. Typical wedge shaped fracture with base towards the impact occurs. When the bumper fracture fractures are present, the distance from the heel to the fracture is measured because it gives the information regarding the height of the bumper and whether the brakes were applied or not. When the brakes are applied before the accident, the distance from the heel to the fracture will be less than the height of the bumper. And absence of bumper injury suggests that the victim was struck from the side by the vehicle. If the injuries were at different levels on the legs, then the victim may be running or walking. Now the injury to the occupants and the driver or the passengers. Now the front seat occupant, the injuries are deceleration injuries in the frontal impact and this is sudden obstruction and the head on collision impact these injuries are seen. And the acceleration they are pushing when the, some other vehicle strikes from behind and these injuries are due to pushing or a rear impact. The vehicle part which are responsible for injury, steering assembly, dashboard, instrument panel, wind screen, backrest and other structures, window glass, hand rest and other mechanical devices. Then the seat belts, restrain harnesses, they sometimes also responsible for the impact or the injuries. Now the injuries, they can be deceleration injuries, coup and contra coup injury, acceleration injury with jackknife or overextension of the neck. Then in lateral impact, there will be crush type of injuries. And run over injuries, these are crushed with tire marks or the grinding, crushing or compression will be seen. If the driver is unrestrained, that is he has not applied the seat belts, then when the vehicle is suddenly halted, he is pushed upward, outward and forward. That driver is violently thrown up out and forward. And in forward movement, the chest will come in contact with the steering and the steering and plus the steering column will cause fatal injury to the intrathoracic regions. So with the frontal impact, the driver is thrown forward, knee strikes the instrument panel, whole body moves forward, abdomen strikes the steering, head strikes the wind screen. Then head recoils back and the body moves forward and downward. Now the chest strikes the steering and the head again strikes the wind screen. So these are the type of movements and the body parts getting Hurt. Here you can see on the left side, the chest is striking the steering column, the head is striking to the dashboard and there are stress forces being transmitted from the legs and the arms. And in P, that is not the driver, the other co-passenger and he is rotating forward, head is striking to the wind screen or the dashboard and the knee striking to the lower margin of the dashboard. 
this is another diagram showing the throwing up forward and the chest striking the steering column and head to the windscreen. And if he has applied the seat belt in picture C, diagram C, then he is not lifted up and move forward, only inclining forward and the upper chest and head or face can strike the steering column. The typical steering wheel injuries. The driver may be thrown onto the steering wheel and he may sustain injuries to the chest wall and heart and liver. These are called steering wheel injuries. And typical flail chest, that is the fracture of the ribs, can occur by the impact of the steering wheel in circular fashion. And that is typical for the steering wheel injuries. And if the impact is severe, the fracture of the knees and legs can be seen laceration of aorta that is a wells from the attachment and this is at the level, level of the aortic ligament that can occur. Now the bird claws injuries. These are when the wind screen breaks up, it breaks up into pieces of glass which fly away and strike the face of the front seat occupants usually. And it produces multiple irregular bleeding wounds, like wounds inflicted by claws of the bird. Then injuries to the chest. They are contusion, abrasion and imprint, abrasion of the steering wheel, fracture of the ribs can occur. There are the compression of the intra, internal, uh, laceration of the lungs and the heart, because of the fracture rib, they can be compressed in and they can damage the lung and the heart. Amputation of aorta due to coup and contra coup phenomena can occur. We'll discuss later in lectures. Then injuries to the abdomen, they are compression injuries, crushing the rupture of the intestine and stomach. Then the laceration of liver, spleen are the most common. And these injuries will cause massive intra-abdominal hemorrhage. Then stress fractures. These injuries result from transmission of force from the hand to the shoulder that the person or the driver is holding the steering column and the stress forces are being transmitted through the arms to the shoulder. And from the feet, when he is applying the brake, through the legs to the hip joint. And these are the points at the hip joint and the shoulder joint where the, there is concentration of force. And now these are the target points where the fracture will occur. So there are multiple fractures seen at the wrist joint, shoulder joint due to transmission of force. Likewise, the transmission of force through the legs will cause fraction of the neck of femur. And this is the diagram showing the transmission of force from steering wheel through the arms to the shoulder and from feet through legs to the hip joint. Now, this is an important SRS system, which is deployed these days in the vehicles. And this is supplemental restraint system. These are airbags and SRS airbag system is hidden in the steering wheel and in the dashboard. And now it is for the other front seat passenger, which I am talking about. It has got an expiry date, always check it. The sensors send a signal to the igniters, which kick off the chemical reaction, generating the nitrogen gas to stuff the airbags. The speed at which the airbags are deployed can cause abrasion and burst by rubbing. It protects you from serious injuries and injuries from the broken glass. But the impact of airbag can seriously injure you if you are sitting too close to the dashboard or to the steering column. Then it usually causes serious lacerations. So a proper distance should be maintained from the dashboard and the steering column. And it can kill young children 
if they are riding in front seat so never place uh, a child on the front seat typical front airbag will be deployed by for unbelted occupants when the crash is equivalent to various grades so various vehicles have been graded such that the impact gravity of gravity of impact will determine the opening of the uh, airbags so various speeds they are set in the inflation system is designed to inflate quickly at a speed up to 2000 miles per hour and then they deflate quickly so that the person the vision and movement they are not limited thank you very much take care allah hafiz